Hello, and welcome to this episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I'm Smokey. I hope wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, you're having a fantastic day. Now, I've been collecting stamps for between seven and eight years now. And when I first started collecting stamps, I purchased the bulk of them off of eBay. And to tell you the truth, I still make several purchases off of eBay for my stamp collection. But I also purchase stamps from hipstamp.com. I discovered hipstamp.com a couple years ago, and uh, they have many dealers, and uh, you can find just about any stamp you're looking for, whether you're trying to fill in a gap or you're trying to buy a, uh, a whole series of stamps. Uh, that can be done on hipstamp.com. Uh, so I do purchase uh, a bulk of my stamps from there. But the other day, my wife and I were out uh, we live in a very small town, and uh, so we were in the uh, the bigger city, uh, which is about 40 miles down the road from us, and uh, we were in a store called Hobby Lobby. If you live in the United States, you're probably familiar with Hobby Lobby. They're an uh, arts and crafts store, uh, a really great store, and uh, they have a very small uh, stamp and coin section. So when I was in there the other day, I noticed that they had uh, this packet uh, of stamps for sale. As you can see, it is on sale for uh, $3.99. Uh, it says, uh, this is from H.E. Harrison Company. It says, serving stamp collector since 1916. It is uh, described as a collector's mixture of 150 unsorted uh, United States stamps. It says, mech stamps for collecting, including U.S. commemoratives and regular issues. And it says, this package contains unsorted and unpicked stamps, mostly on paper with duplicates. Uh, and then it says that the stamps shown are for illustration purposes only and not necessarily the stamps that you will receive in your pack. And then down here it says, bonus, uh, over 100-year-old U.S. stamp included, a 1912 two-cent Washington. So... Uh, I thought for $3.99, I couldn't go wrong. Uh, so I picked this up and thought this would make a great item uh, to discuss in this video. So I thought we'd do a bit of an unboxing and uh, see what we had. And uh, then I'd give you a little review about, uh, about what I think about it. So I haven't opened this yet. Uh, it's sealed. So I'm going to open it right now. And the first thing is a... Uh, is a card uh, wanting me, I believe, to purchase more stamps and stamp-related uh, items from H.E. Harris and Company. So I will set that to the side, and as you can see, it is full of stamps. And it does look like... Uh, it does look like they are on paper, but immediately I find... Uh, this stamp here, I believe, yeah, that's upside down. So this is the bonus uh, in this little glassine envelope. This is supposed to be the 1912 uh, two-cent uh, George Washington. Uh, so, yeah, they are, uh, all these stamps are on paper. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take uh, these stamps. I'm going to soak them off of the paper. Uh, I'm going to dry them. Uh, then I'm going to uh, count them to make sure we got the 150. We'll see if we got any duplicates, uh, any damaged stamps. And uh, then I will give you my opinion uh, as to what I thought about uh, this collector collector's uh, mixture from uh, Hobby Lobby uh, via H.E. Harris and Company. So for you, it'll just be a couple seconds. Uh, but for me, it'll probably be... Uh, a day or two before I get all that done. Uh, so I'll see you back here in just a second. All right, so I have uh, taken all the stamps. I have soaked all of them, uh, dried all of them, and, uh, and laid them out uh, on my work table. So let's take a look and see what we got in this mixture of 150 stamps. All right, so here are all the stamps that I have soaked off of the paper and laid out here on my work table. 
you will notice that some of the stamps are still attached uh, to the paper. Uh, that is because they either uh, didn't soak off uh, during the soaking process or they are uh, self-adhesive stamps which are notoriously difficult uh, to get off the paper. Uh, I do have a uh, stamp lifting fluid uh, which I did use on a couple of those with paper uh, but chose not to uh, not to use on all of them. So there's uh, some Disney stamps. There is a, a Bambi, as long as uh, as well as a Little Mermaid. One of the newer Bugs Bunny stamps. Christmas stamps. A couple of George Washingtons. Uh, right above George Washington, there that uh, winter mailbox, I believe. That is a 1977 issue. A Babe Ruth stamp. And then we move over. And uh, you see a Will Rogers stamp. Will Rogers, a native of the state of Oklahoma. And then two stamps that are very familiar if you uh, view this channel. Uh, two Oklahoma stamps. And then these two stamps, which I think are uh, some of the uh, most interesting stamps in the mixture. It is a $5 and a $1 stamp. Uh, unfortunately, these stamps are on a, a plastic backing from a plastic, one of those thick plastic envelopes. Uh, so they were impossible to remove uh, via soaking or stamp lifting fluid. And also they've been hit with the dreaded pin cancel. Uh, you've seen some duplications, but the most duplicated stamp in this mixture are these uh, flag and firework stamps. There are 10, uh, 10 different uh, of those in the mixture. So like I said, the most, uh, most duplicated. So there you have it. Uh, that is all the stamps that came in the... Uh, Packet of 150 uh, mixed uh, U.S. stamps. So pretty, uh, pretty good assortment. Uh, pretty basic uh, assortment. Nothing uh, too shocking, uh, but all in all, uh, some pretty good stamps. All right, so those were uh, the stamps. Uh, the packet advertised 150 stamps uh, plus a bonus stamp. When I counted them out and I counted them several times, uh, there was 148 stamps. Of the 148 stamps, they were all on paper uh, except for two and the bonus stamp. Uh, Ten of the stamps were either damaged uh, out of the package or during the soaking process. So that left us with a total of 138 stamps uh, plus the bonus stamp. And uh, let me show you. Uh, there, is, there is the bonus stamp right there. It is indeed a 1912 uh, two cent George Washington uh, in used condition. You can see the uh, see the postmark there. Uh, so overall impressions, uh, all the stamps, as I expected, had a minimal uh, Scott catalog value, uh, including the uh, the bonus two cent George Washington. But in the end, uh, for me, uh, as a collector, it's not about catalog value. Uh, I'm not collecting as a big investment. I'm not collecting as part of um, my retirement fund I'm collecting as a hobby and uh, because I love stamps and so it's not always about uh, the value uh, so for me uh, this was uh, three dollars and 99 cents for 150 stamps uh, I got several hours uh, if not a couple days uh, of enjoyment out of these uh, from opening the package to soaking them off uh, to, to drying them and then 
finally seen uh, the mixture that was left with. Uh, so for $3.99, you can't beat a couple days of entertainment uh, for that. I will say that uh, if you are a beginning collector or just beginning to collect uh, U.S. stamps, not a bad mixture, uh, kind of a mixed bag of different uh, of different things, all used uh, stamps. Uh, so, so not bad for three dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, if you're a more advanced collector or you're looking for a specific stamp, uh, maybe not uh, the way you want to go. But also, if you just want to have some fun and, and see what you get, um, I would recommend this. Uh, one of the the downfalls, well, two downfalls uh, to this mixture. One, there were quite a few duplicates. Uh, including those uh, 10 flag and firework stamps that I showed you that were all duplicates. Uh, so that's kind of a downside. And also there was a number of uh, self-adhesive stamps. And so as you know, self-adhesive stamps are notorious for not uh, wanting to be removed uh, from their paper. I also uh, I used a, a stamp uh, lifting fluid uh, that I have on a couple of the... Uh, self-adhesive stamps and it did get them off uh in the end i just chose not to remove all the uh, all the stamps from from paper uh so that's it that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it uh let me know if you like this uh unboxing and review uh type of video i haven't really done one before uh so if you like it i might uh, might do a future video uh if you haven't done so yet uh please consider subscribing to the channel I would appreciate it very much. Don't forget to like uh, the episode as well as leave me a comment uh, in the section below. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.